Good morning, everybody. My name is Philip Rumpel, and I am the Senior Marketing Specialist for Willow Tree Public Relations. And today we're going to cover our overall marketing strategy for our client, Omarosa Monogalt. Let's jump right into it and take a look at our client's current crisis status. During the crisis, Omarosa became untrusted publicly due to the fact that not many knew why the Trump administration named her to several key positions within the administration. And she herself admittedly, based on other staffers, didn't actually do the work that was requested. She was disliked by the staffers in the West Wing by abusing her station and taking advantage of government benefits, thus holding wedding parties at the White House and formal gatherings against orders and abusing the free government services for car rides, all of which made her untrustworthy to the Trump organization in general. So the main crisis point that we have is that she was fired from the White House for abuse of the carpet system and unprofessional behavior. This became a massive image issue for her in which she flaunts her wealth and status and is out of touch with the common American. This caused several issues with her political career, and she has yet to fully recover therein. Post-crisis status, his client is back to work as a reality TV star working on Celebrity Big Brother. During these announcements, she has uh, taken several Democratic activism statements against the Trump administration, and she has espoused many statements to her regret about the organization. As such, her political leanings have changed, and her career has started to take off again, but not to the effect that she has requested, which is where we come in to fix that political image. So our primary marketing strategy, we're going to identify our crisis identification at the moment. Omarosa is a reality TV star with a political background who made some bad choices throughout her political career and took advantage of her status for personal self gain. If we formulate it in that methodology, when we're talking about her publicly, it makes her seem like less of a non-approachable person. She is what most people would hate about the government, the perceived opulence and disconnect of a political leader versus that of the real common American. I want to note that this is only an image issue, not a legal or crisis point to repair our client's reputation, but strictly to focus on the digital and social sociopolitical image of our client. Our collective overall marketing strategy is going to make Omarosa more likable and fix her public image where she doesn't care about others. We're going to utilize social media to mass effect to make her look like the darling of the liberal and democratic parties. We're going to make her look like an actual survivor of the Trump organization and administration. That keyword survivor is critical to this marketing strategy as she considers herself a reformed Democrat. We're going to play on and enhance her public statements of regret and remorse over her joining the Trump administration in the first place. Our target audience is going to be multi-pronged with several types of posts across social media. We're going to have both political and reality TV star promoted posts. Our political posts are going to have an audience that needs to be targeted to those between the ages of 16 and 35, both male and female on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, whose active behaviors are political with political interests in both parties, but we're going to predominantly target the liberal, libertarian, and democratic circles to spread the word faster about her anti-Trump statements. The reality TV star posts are going to be targeted at an audience between 25 and 45, mostly on Facebook, mostly female, focusing on reality TV for those who have a political leaning, but not necessarily a political affiliation for the celebrity statements about Trump. Lastly, we're going to have some measurable results for social reach. Our goal is over the next 120 days to increase the re reach of our client on social media by over 35% and increase her overall engagement by 20% with more likes and shares on Facebook alone. We can measure this information and achieve it by making her public statements about the Trump organization to mass effect via viral marketing, eliciting more clicks and conversations on social media, and thus sharing the stories on multiple platforms once once the videos have gone viral. This, ladies and gentlemen, will wrap up our overall marketing strategy for Omarosa, and we look forward to working with you guys on this project.